Hello everybody out there in the uh, music and vinyl community. Uh, this is Mike come at you or Soldier777 and uh, I figured I'd show you a video or an update on some pretty cool albums I got in the mail today from uh, Rocks Productions uh, courtesy of Bill Bafford. So basically I got some free stuff. Um, I got the Holy Soldier uh, pin in the mail. Uh, this is a collectible so I guess it'll go with my pins I have. Also, there's the uh, Love Life uh, sticker as well. Also, we got the Holy Soldier uh, sticker. And there's a die cut Holy Soldier tag. Holy Soldier tag. It's pretty cool. And there's a couple of these uh, Holy Soldier postcards came in the mail. Or not postcards, but uh, mini posters. Which so I thought was really cool. So I guess from looking at those, I guess you figured uh, what the uh, I got in the mail. So basically, oh, and by the way, there's also a Holy Soldier, uh, sorry, a uh, Rocks Productions flyer that came in the mail as well. So I'm definitely interested in that uh, Red Sea um, album is coming out uh, as well. I think it's more of a blues-based uh, hard rock uh, CD. So I'm definitely interested in that one. Okay, so basically what I'm going to show you is that uh, like a few records in the mail and um so basically i'll show them right now so i got the holy soldier uh record on uh, yellow vinyl here's the back of it here which is a, which is a fan fantastic album i think it's one of my favorite albums from the year 1990 it's a fantastic album and also too i got the uh cd here one second get that for you there i got the cd that you can see here and also, too, you've noticed, too, I got the original uh, Murr uh, Records version. I also have the, um, the um, Silent Music Records version, the Brazilian import. If you notice this between the other two CDs, uh, if you notice this one's a bit more really, really bright in the color, uh, the way the album was done as well. So, basically, I got three versions of, of this CD. The, the Murr Records, uh, Silent Music Records, and the Rocks Productions, uh, the Rocks Productions CD here. Um, so basically, I'm gonna, just going to show you the um, the inlay for the the Brazilian version. So here you see all kinds of uh, flyers and that kind of thing that they have put on the back tree to CD, to the CD. And uh, as well, they have the um, if you if I were to haul out this, I know it's a little bit difficult to haul out there, but I got the. Um, for the Brazilian import, there's a fallout uh, card that comes with it. Inlay. One second, just to show it to you there. So basically, here's the here's the inside. Uh, sorry, the uh, outside, and here's the inside with with pictures and uh, and uh, pictures and uh, lyrics and credits, that kind of thing. Or more credits, I should say, because credits on this side, on the outside part as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. What I might do is um, I probably end up selling the Brazilian version of it of the CD uh, this uh, as well online there which is this version here I may end up selling that one where, where I'm, I'm okay with just having the uh, the Murr Records version and the Rocks Productions version so I'm, and oh and here's the back of the uh, Brazilian version and here's the back of the Murr Records version and here's the back of the Rocks version that you can see here. So basically, uh, we got three versions of that album, and and I got that on CD and one on vinyl. Also got the Last Train record, as well, which is another good good album. This is more of a blues. Uh, the, the the whole sort of debut is more of a, a melodic, hard rock metal album. This is more of a blues based uh, rock hard rock album. I wouldn't call it straight straight on full on metal, but I guess more of a hard rock uh, uh, version. And also here, here's the back of it, as well. Also, I have the CD for it. Um, no, actually, I got, I got the original Murr Records version of it of Last Train. I also have the Japanese import as well. And actually, this this CD is going for around uh, give or take uh, thirty, forty dollars more uh, plus. I only paid about twenty odd dollars for this uh, on eBay, which I thought was a steal. And also, I got the CD to the new Rocks. Uh, version as well, uh, 2017, 
the only minor complaint I had with this, not really, I guess I can't really complain because uh, when I worked out a deal with, with Bill Baffert, he threw in all of these freebies and um, and um, that kind of thing. It's only a, a digit pack with no inserts or no um, uh, jacket or, or, or lyric sheet. But I can't really complain, I guess, because, uh, you know, uh, give me a, we worked out a deal out for this package. I also like to point out the fact that on the inside of the tray, uh, if you've noticed that, there is the Japanese... Uh, album cover on the inside of the Holy Soldier uh, tray insert, which I thought was pretty cool as well. It's kind of different. So I guess they had a, a merge, a merging between the North American artwork and the Japanese artwork for the CD and vinyl release. So I thought that was pretty cool. I figured I'd point that out to all you guys out there. As well, I got the uh, Recon uh, Behind Enemy Lines uh, CD from Rocks Productions. That was newly newly uh, re-released. It was really I think released back in 2016. It sold out, so they started to reissue it again uh, uh, recently. I also got the, I got the original uh, intense record version of this as well. Uh, if you notice that the the, the title of the uh, of the album at the bottom behind me lines is green, where on where on the re reissued version is yellow. Was kind of a, a feel, you know. And here's the back of the. Uh, Rocks production version, and here's the back of the intense records version as well. So, and as you may know, the booklet for the recon one, as with all the other CDs, are, are um, sorry, uh, with the recon the booklet of the recon, it's all um, it's all like a, a nice little, you know, different kinds of posters and pictures and lyrics and uh, that kind of thing. I thought it was really cool, and the lyrics, lyrics, all the lyrics on the first uh, couple of pages of the, of the booklet. So I thought it was really cool. I'll definitely be giving this a listen uh, when I get a chance to. I think my favorite track on this album is uh, "Take Us Away," was uh, the Rapture. Uh, so I think it's a killer, a killer uh, power metal track. So that's pretty awesome there. So I also got the um, Fear Not vinyl as well as on purple vinyl or dark purple vinyl, so a marbly look to it. Here's the back of it, and uh, Ronnie's uh, record room, uh, which is another VC member. Uh, did a pinstripe the artwork I thought was really cool as well now a while back there right about a year or so ago I got a CD for this uh, Fear Not album as well and I also have the original uh, Packet Room Records version of this as well came out in 1993 so and that uh, the reissued version of that uh, Fear Not came out originally came out in 27, 2017 or, or early 2018 uh, I think it's 20 yeah 2017 uh, according to, to the notes in the back of the album there down below there so I thought it's pretty cool this is, by the way this is a really good album um, it's probably one of the best releases I think in the early 90s uh, it's more if you if you guys are into bands like like sort of sleazy metal not sleazy in terms of lyrics but sleazy in terms of sound um, a little more like Slaughter or uh, Skid Row uh, maybe a little bit of bit Britney Fox style thrown in that kind of sound to it uh, this is what this album is like so those of you who are into like uh, that kind of 80s hard rock a gritty type of hard rock metal yeah you'll definitely like this album there and the lyrics is not like a preachy uh, hit, hit over the bottle type lyrics it's more like laid back uh, you know positive lyrics uh, you know about God and uh, you know uh, from a Christian worldview uh, but like I said it's not like a strong evangelical hit you over the head type of lyrics uh, that you might hear when you listen to bands like Jerusalem and Petra it's more of a laid back type of lyrics to it so it's kind of cool as well, too, I got the Fear Not EP, uh, as well, which is called uh, For the Wounded Heart. It's a five-song EP. I did, I did a quick listen to a few of those tracks there, and 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 the uh, the, the style of music is not too far from their uh, uh, from this album here I just showed you. Uh, it's kind of similar. Now they got a different lead singer uh, than the previous album. I think the lead singer on the on this one was uh, the one second now. Uh, all out here. The lead singer is, is it Larry Woolley? Woolley? I think, I'm not sure. I can't seem to find it here right now. One second, let me see if I can look it up there. I'm doing a video, you can't remember all your notes when you have it ready for, ready for, the, for the video. One second. Uh...
Gary Hansen, Todd Romeo and Romero. Yeah, Larry Woolery is the lead singer uh, for this CD, uh, for the Fear Not one. Now, uh, the vocals this time on the uh, EP, one second, let me get this put back in tray properly here. I'm the kind of person that when I do, uh, when I have something out, I gotta put it back the way it is, and I'm particular like that. Uh, the lead singer on this one is Eddie Green on vocals. Larry Woolery is still involved in the album, but he does uh, some guitar work, so. Uh, so different lead singer. Now that lead singer reminds me of somebody I heard before. I'm not sure one of more more um, post uh, '80s hard rock bands like Soundgarden, or it more reminds me of someone from the from one of the older '80s hard rock metal singer. I can't remember. But the lead singer reminds me of something. I guess it's a bit like uh, not that whiny voice like like Scott Stephen Cree, but not like the straightforward um, uh, '80s hard rock metal like the guys like the vocalists on uh, on. Um, uh, on um, Skid Row or uh, or Slaughter, it's kind of like uh, a different kind of vocal style, but still, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, though, I must say. So, and uh, as well, also, as you may know, uh, the, uh, it's not that fear not came out in 1993 originally, and the EP just came out this year uh, or last year. Let me just see when the EP came out. Uh, yeah, 2019 came out this year. So basically, uh, before they're called Fair Not, they're called Love Life. Uh, which is, this one came out in 1991. Now, uh, when I got this album on eBay back in 2016 or 2015, I think it was 2016, I didn't pay too much attention to it. The, the production was a bit tinny. Uh, I didn't listen to it very much. I got a couple of uh, songs on my, my cell phone uh, for to play my car on my Bluetooth. Uh, but also, too, as part of the package that I got was Love Life, the same album with enhanced artwork and uh, with better production. Now, I played this on my uh, com uh, computer speakers. Uh, I did a, a, did a track three, which is called uh, Heart of Fire, between the old version and new version. And the new version, the, uh, the biggest, uh, is a, there's a big difference between the, between the two versions. Uh, it sounds, uh, the production is almost like more fattier, uh, less tinny. Uh, more of a deeper range for the uh, for the sound, as well. So I just figured I'd let you know that as well. So, is it, so I might I'm gonna definitely give this a spin, uh, give it a closer listen, and I think I'll learn to appreciate this album more, and maybe put a couple more songs uh, on my uh, cell phone and listen to in my car as well. Also, on, along with that, I got the record for uh, Love Life as well, uh, which is uh, which is a um, the vinyl, which is more of a mustardy uh, color vinyl. I forgot to mention to you too, me all the records I got there in the mail. This is on yellow vinyl. If I didn't already mention before, I probably did. Uh, this is on purple vinyl, right here. And the Holy Soldier is on red vinyl. I can tell from a sticker here on, at the top there. So that's pretty cool as well. Also, that, and the last thing I got to show you is the Deliverance uh, Subversive Kind, which is a thrash album. Um, so basically, this album came in February 2018. I got CD to uh, CD for his album back at that time period around February March, and I also got a red vinyl version of this as well, of Subversive Kind, which is I think is pretty cool as well. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I like to say again uh, thanks to uh, Bill Bafford of uh, Rocks Productions um, as well, and uh, I mean as usual, Bill Bafford does quality work. Um, uh, I think uh, I, I, I last time I placed a big order with big order at uh, with Rocks Productions was back in early uh, 2018, around March or so. So I guess uh, this being a year later, I placed a big giant order with them. Um, a big order with them, which is what I got in the mail, and uh, which which is quite good. Um, um, in addition to that. Um, Anyway, that's all I got to say right now. I got another order coming from Gerder, Gerder Music uh, from Greg Hayes from uh, North Carolina. That pack's on the way to me. Um, I should have it in a few days. So when I get that package, I will definitely uh, come on board and uh, show you guys what I got in the mail in that package. I don't want to disclose what I have in the I got. In, in, I, I'm getting in that package. It's sort of a grail. One of those uh, is it one. I do have. I'm getting. I believe I'm getting uh, three CDs and one vinyl. That one vinyl is a grail of mine. Um, so I'll do. I want to tell you what it is yet. It's is a kind of a rare vinyl. A little bit rare. Not not like we call really rare, but you can get it. Uh, you can get it 
around in different area, different places. Uh, but uh, the fact I'm getting is a sealed copy of an 80s record. That is rare. So not too often you get the sealed version of an album back in the 80s. Not this kind of album anyway. So I will be showing that to you uh, when I uh, get that in the mail. So you guys all have a great day and uh, all the best. Bye now.